Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, today we are taking a look at the LG 34 inch 5K ultra wide monitor. This is a Thunderbolt 3 monitor with a resolution of 5120 by 2160. It's got an IPS panel with 60Hz refresh rate. It's also HDR capable as well. I have been using this monitor now for over 6 months thereabout. This is one of the few monitors on the market with lots of mixed reviews. I have had my own fair share of issues with this monitor which I'll be explaining in this video today. I will also be explaining some of the steps I took to prevent some of those issues from happening and I hope this video also helps any of you out there who is contemplating picking this monitor up. Okay, so without wasting time, let's begin. So one of the first issues with this monitor is the flimsy stand. The stand is quite flimsy. It's made of a combination of plastic and metal what I noticed is that if you are typing on the desk, uh, you might find out that the monitor wobbles from time to time. I have not really experienced that issue because I don't type very fast and I don't slam the keyboard. But if you are the type that slams your keyboard a lot when you are typing, you will definitely notice the monitor wobbling a lot. So a good fix for this would be to purchase a monitor arm online. There are many affordable options which you can pick up and that would help to keep the monitor firm and sturdy on the table while creating extra space on your desk. As you can see, the monitor stand is quite huge and takes up lots of space on the desk. So there is one Thunderbolt port, two standard USB ports, one display port, two HDMI ports, a USB upstream port and a headphone jack. So if you are planning to connect multiple Thunderbolt devices, you will have to purchase a Thunderbolt dock as you only get a single Thunderbolt port, which is absolutely ridiculous for a monitor at this price point. Another thing I also have to point out about this monitor is that you have to make sure you use the original Thunderbolt cable that came right out of the box because I noticed that this monitor is quite temperamental with third-party Thunderbolt cables. I have tried using this monitor with several third-party Thunderbolt cables. They seem not to work. Yes, you heard me right. But if you don't have the original Thunderbolt cable that came with the monitor, I'll advise you to go to LG's website and purchase one. Yes, you are going to definitely need it. Another issue I experienced a few times is when you put the monitor to sleep and then you wake it up, the resolution of the monitor changes from 5K to 1440p for no absolute reason. I just don't know why. It happens like that maybe once in four weeks. It doesn't happen frequently, but when it does, all you have to do is just restart the uh, monitor and your MacBook and you're good to go. Another issue I experienced with this monitor is the wallpaper changing aspect ratio. So sometimes when I just try to wake up the monitor from sleep, it just changes the wallpaper aspect ratio. This happens maybe like once in three weeks, four weeks. So this is not something that occurs frequently. The recent update to the Mac OS, I think that has kind of addressed that issue. I've not really experienced it for over six weeks now, but I have to point that out because I experienced it initially when I picked up this monitor. This monitor was originally released in 2018. On the earlier models, you might experience uh, burning and image retention issues. My advice would be for you to go with the 2020 or 2021 model. I have the 2020 model here with me. I have not experienced any image retention issues whatsoever. And one step I take to prevent that is by changing my wallpaper every 15 minutes. So that way I don't get to retain an image on the screen for that long. Another thing I do to prevent image retention is I don't use super high brightness all the time. So I only crank up the brightness of the monitor. If I'm doing any video editing task, that's the only time I use high brightness on this monitor. So overall, this monitor has been working pretty well for me so far, except for the issues I mentioned earlier on, uh, which don't seem to be much of a deal breaker for me. Is there any other problems you are experiencing with this monitor? Let us know in the comment section below. If you've got any questions, let me know as well. So if you are on the market looking for an ultra wide high resolution monitor, the choices are quite limited right now. My advice would be for you to try it out for yourself. You might end up liking it, you might not. As always, I'll be throwing links in the description section for you all to purchase this monitor if you want. Feel free to check out other videos on this channel and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the red subscribe button and the notification bell icon so you will always be notified each time I post a new video on this channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Adios.